900. Where do you start? Where do you even start? It's like record exception. <laughs> oh, that's a video. Oh, this is great. I heard that absolutely about trolls too. Take a picture. Are we cool? Yes, please take a picture. Thank you. Soul? Give me your soul. All right. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Tell them what just happened. <laughs> we just chilled these. All right. Two minutes ago, we bought them. Now we're drinking them. Two minutes ago, they were room temp. Now they are ice cold. And it's, it's an enjoyable beverage. Enjoyable beverage with some, some enjoyable gentleman, man. This is a good time. Thank you. George, any last words, buddy? Uh, I want to meet Mr. Weird. That's the last words I want to say. Where's Mr. Weird? Mr. Weird. Mm. Mr. Weird, where are you? Mm. Mr. Weird, please come out. Please we know you're going to be here, Mr. Weird. Please come. come out. All right, George, what time's the movie playing? 8 o'clock tonight at Row House Center. What's going on before be the movie? Be there, be square. Before the movie. Is yeah, what are you, are you going to talk before the movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. have things to say? What about after the movie? Are you going to be hanging out with some people? Bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. hanging out with some people, drinking some beer? This is it. Any, right any other words, George? Please, bumper well. sticker. Give us a bumper sticker. Okay. Would you turn the music up a little bit, please? <laughs> that was say? good. That was good. You Would you turn the music up a little bit, please? Right. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that is a bumper sticker, actually. <laughs> synopsis just some housekeeping about what the film's about um, it's not like troll 2 uh, it's a mystery thriller kind of a western um, it's about an aging lawman that finds out a mysterious stranger in his town is missing and uh, he stirs up the hornet's nest so the aging lawman is Travis played by George here can you tell us a little bit about what uh, you think George brought to the, uh, the role and why you think he was a good fit for it uh, George is a very authentic person. He's going to say what he feels, he's going to act like the way he wants to act like, and I think doing the role, he knows a lot of people in Alabama and in the South, and he's been around all his life, so it was kind of easy. He, you know, he talks to everybody, so I know he's a good listener. Um, so, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so I, I knew George, well, I'd seen Troll 2, and if you watch Troll 2, George, is, he's a good actor, he just has nothing to work with. Michael? Yeah? Who are the goblins? The goblins? <laughs> Goodness, he didn't. Um, but yeah, so that's why I thought I said, well, George could, you know, do you want to do it? He said he did. He w went through about three pages on the script and he fell asleep. <laughs> and I was like, he's perfect. But no, he, I knew he had the chops. I really did. George, do you want to tell us just a bit about Travis's character and uh, I guess what drew you to him? Yeah, well, when I first read the script, like you said, I fell asleep. But not really. I mean, <laughs> it, it, wasn't a boring, it wasn't a boring script. It was after a couple of glasses of wine that he asked me to do it. <laughs> and then we tried to start it on the script and then, you know. But uh, yeah, Travis Delmore is uh, just like you said, an aging lawman, really. And he's an honest guy. He's kind of at the end of his career. And he's in a little mundane town and not much is happening. And it's just, it's, you know, it's just not much excitement in the town. And uh, he's just a good old boy, kind of like the Andy Mayberry um, from the Andy Griffith show. Um, and so, um, so yeah, he's, he's kind of got a tie-in with that, with Shanks being boring, kind of. Thing. But um, yeah, it, it, you know, I just felt like that uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of Travis Delmore's around in the United States, and to, you know, Cos, Texas is the perfect place to to make this happen, of which is in the film, and actually, the t little town of La Paz is is where we filmed it. But, you know. 